I'm going to need to know the name of the owner and the registration address on the vehicle. James Dunlap is the owner. Everything is in the address that they can Okay, can you tell me, this since I'm not familiar with the document, where the address is? Insurance in your name or his name? Both. He's the policy holder on the driver's license. Insurance. And that's through affirmative? Yes, affirmative. Did they call you? They should have called you. Affirmative did? Yes. Yeah, they're not going to do anything for you. Okay. So. But we knew that yesterday. Right? No. I'm sorry. We knew that. The bag? No, no. For. Because you only have liability I coverage. I don't want the car. I just want, I just wanted the keys and the work bag. That's why they were supposed to be calling to see if they could get you to get the work, so I could get the work bag. Out. But we already had that worked out with the police department, though. The police department called for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. You do know it's unlawful in the state of Illinois to abandon a vehicle? Uh, okay. Well, I'm telling you. Oh, okay. It's unlawful in the state. And I'm we, not abandoning it. Okay. Oh, no. you mean just, you're just reading if, the thing. If you don't ever come back. And let's just say you don't ever come back, okay? And it sits here for about seven days. We then contact the Willowbrook police and advise them the car still hasn't moved. Okay. Willowbrook then will start to send us information so certified letters can go out in okay. the mail. Okay. The certified letters will have a date of disposal on it and an auction time. Okay. If nobody shows up by that date, a final bill is generated. The bill is sent to the registered owner. Okay. If that bill isn't paid in 90 days, okay. we then send it to the state police. Okay. You should, um, and the lawyer also told me to let you know you should be getting a call from State Farm and to release the car to them when they come. Okay. So you would like to uh, put State Farm as a release on the release form? They should be, yeah. Okay. Should be. We're going to go ahead and note, write it up that way. Okay. If something changes between yep. now yep. and that, call me like yep. right away and say, you know, take, take State Farm off, don't let them touch it. Okay. 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 A verbal over the phone for that type of stuff is fine. Okay. If I don't hear from you and then State Farm shows up for it, okay. we're just going to release it. Yep. Okay. okay. And the State Farm is the uh, insurance company for the other party's yes. car? Okay. What kind of car was that, do you know? They had a Honda SUV, Hyundai SUV. Hyundai SUV? Okay. Do you happen to know the name of those people at all? Uh, I can run to the car just to talk to them. You know, it's, it's not Jacob that big of a deal. Moy. It looks like you're hurt and stuff, so. The, the guy is Jacob Moy, but that's uh, M-O-Y, Jacob Moy, M-O-Y. Do you need their policy numbers or anything? Yep. Okay. Just sometimes when the insurance company calls, they don't know your car, or they, and I just want to make sure I have everything. Okay, we have uh, one key ring with five keys. We've removed the key for the Chevy. Okay. Okay, does that look right to you? Yeah. Actually, if you provide me with your email address, we have a video and a uh, picture's already on file. You just go online and look at it. Okay? And that's the bag in question, correct? Perfect. Okay. And we'll walk it around here for you in just a second so you can take a look through it. Ouch. Huh? I didn't feel a thing. Well, of course you didn't. <laughs> My shin felt it all, though.
was on file for you. Was your original pack? And there's your ID. Okay. And then one black bag will release as well, so you need your signature there and then make sure to date. Fighters, a man. 